Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this pulse motor that I built. It is similar to other pulse motors that I have built in the past. I have several videos on my channel. The pulse motor is basically a rotor that has two or more magnets. You need a coil, as in every type of motor and also some type of sensor. In this case, we have a read switch or magnetic switch. And this motor in particular uses a coil that is recycled from an old hard drive. As you can see, this is the coil and this part is the reading head of the hard drive. It has this very nice coil that works perfectly for a pulse motor. When you open a hard drive, you can find several components that are useful to make different projects. Here is, this is the arm that I am using, which has the coil. And also, of course, uh, many people use the neodymium magnets that are here around the coil. You need to remove a couple of screws to take this piece off in order to get the magnets that look like this and they are very powerful. Of course you also uh, you can also use the electric motor and the plate which has a mirror finish as you can see and also the bearings the ball bearings here in the in the motor and also in the coil arm are of very high quality and are useful for different projects. Okay, here is the arm with the coil that we need for our pulse motor. And uh, the tricky part here is to solder a couple of wires to the coil because the terminals you can see here we have two tiny terminals are very small so you need to be careful when soldering the wires to the coil. The construction is very simple. We have this rotor here, which is a plastic lid with two neodymium magnets at opposite sides, 180 degrees from each other. You need to use the same polarity, for example, north and north or south and south and the axis is a large needle the needle is attracted by a magnet here at the top and we also have another magnet at the bottom that makes the rotor stand in a vertical position and prevents an oscillatory motion from side to side and here we have the coil and also a read switch at the other side. The purpose of the read switch is to turn the coil on and off when a magnet passes near the coil. So let's see the motor in action.
Okay, there you have it, a very easy to make pulse motor. Hope you liked this video, thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.